Hey guys, I'll be starting a series where I'm going to be building out my CRV to live in, van lifestyle. Oh, so nice. As I'm going to be doing a big road trip and I'll be going for a few months and hiking all sorts of mountains uh, across North America. So let me show you what I have so far. Right now it's kind of cleared out, but I'll just show you the bare bones. So I've got this, this pallet that I uh, cut to fit exactly in place and I have a second one that goes over top or up there. So I sleep right here and I have these thick cushions as you can see here from this old footage, the old couch cushions. I like that style because if you have an air mattress and you get a puncture on it and you're in the middle of nowhere, like you're you're sleeping on a flat bed where couch cushions are always super soft. The only downside to the couch cushions is that they're really, really thick. So they do take more vertical space. Although when I lay in it, I smush them down. So it's fine. I think I should make a new platform that's thinner and stronger basically. And this thing is an accessory that uh, I got. actually got secondary when I bought this vehicle used. Even says on it though, it only supports 40 pounds. So I just took out that black thing and now we have just this in here. The second piece is goes this way. And I have a pillow on the far end just to get the stability up. I put my head on this side and my feet down there. So this is my old setup. Now I'm going to try to figure out how to make this better because I'm losing a lot of space here. You can see um, this double thickness here and this is way over engineered. First step was to clean out my car and vacuum out all these wood chips I had accumulated over the past year. As you can see I've got it all cleaned up now more or less. I need to wipe it down still but I need to decide now what I want to do with this. So this is my spare and it's just a donut. And there's water in here, that's interesting. So you can see right here, there's water underneath this. Ooh, quite a bit of water. There's quite a bit of water under there. Yeah. If you have any ideas of what I should be doing leave it in the uh, comments below but basically I'm thinking I might just get a full-size spare and put that on the roof and then um, I have this space as like a secret storage space I can put my laptop or whatever I want down there when I'm not at my uh, my vehicle does this ship like this is this supposed to be like this or is this like cracked and someone just sealed it up with some stuff So this is the empty shell that I'm left with and I can fold these seats up in a weird way too. That, and then you put this and then it comes up and I guess there's more cleaning to do. So the thing is I can't sleep in here because I'm too tall. My feet actually have to stick up to about here. So I've tried this before, I built a bed on top of this, but it was too crazy, it's way too high. All right, so I got all the boards cut. I found this wood on the side of my house. It was kind of getting a little funky, I just wiped it off. It's good to go. The only one I tested was this one because I knew it would need a 45 degree angle cut on it, as you can see. So this is, uh, I think we 46 and a half, and then I cut the corners. So, cause you can see here, this slopes in. So there's, there's not much lip. And I've decided to go with this style. I'm gonna put boards here and then just plywood on top. And then I end up gaining about four inches of height. So the boards that go at the back, uh, I cut a notch for these nubs and we're gonna test, does this fit? Go in. And it does, perfect, look at that. And for my final two boards here, I've not checked these. These are shorter, these are 42 and a quarter, and perfect, look at that. This is what I want, it's like a little bit snug. And this one, perfect. So I'm really liking how this is looking, but what I was thinking is instead of having plywood go across the entire thing, why don't I just put plywood there and maybe a little bit back here and have a hole here, and that way I can actually put a big uh, cooler that I can access from right in my bed. That way I don't have to, you know, reach in and I'll have access in here more uh, efficiently. So I could actually take this board and slide it back a bit that way. And then when I cut a hole here, I'll have more of a space. That makes more sense. 
Okay, so the next step is these boards are all loose, as you can see. I need to attach these. But before I do that, these notches that I cut out, see this can fall off. And I thought once I just put the weight on there, it'd be fine. But it's going to shimmy, and you can see it just falls out way too easily. I don't want to be dealing with this on the road. So what I'm going to do is cut a notch on this side, and I'm going to put it um, in there like that. So I just have to cut out this bit so it sits behind. All right, you'll see after a few cuts later, this fits really snug. I actually can't even pull it out on that side. I have to pull it this side first. And yeah, so now we're good to go. Now I'm going to attach all four of these. And to do that, I picked up these two metal brackets. I'm sure I could have found something cheaper to do this with, but I end up getting these just because it's, they're four bucks each, but it'll hold these in position. Yeah, there we go. All right, so here are my measurements for my plywood. The top number up here is five feet long by 32 inches wide. That's gonna be my sleeping platform. And the one next to it is 28.5 inches by 19.5 inches for the secondary spot. My feet will hang off a little bit, but it won't actually hang off because my cushions will be hanging off of the plywood. So it'll be fine because I'm almost six feet tall. I'm five foot 11 and a half. The key for this is to go to the hardware store with your measurements like this and then get them to cut it because I don't want to be cutting plywood. I, there's no way I'm going to cut it straight and it's going to be a big fiasco. I'm going to have to do it with a skill saw and oh, I'm just a mess with that thing. So <laughs> get them to cut it. So what I've done is I'll show you here. Okay, so something to pay attention to, you can see I have the cutout here. Well, I flip this around and the reason for that is because if we look on the underside, I didn't realize this, so don't make this mistake, but see I've got, because I didn't pay full price for this board, it was only 15 bucks for the whole thing. It's a top sheet. Uh, there's a bit of damage and I'm gonna cut off a corner anyways. I might as well cut off the corner that's rotten here. Okay, we're gonna test and see if this fits. Uh, nope, does not. That. Well, that fits pretty nice. Now I'm gonna wrap all of this, you'll see, with a cloth, but I'm gonna buff all these edges first, but you can see it just tucks in here nicely. This is nice and flush. This is gonna be flush with this underneath here, and See, that all snugly fits in there, and that's basically the platform. So I'm going to vacuum this out now, and then I'm going to get a bed sheet, and we're going to make up this bed and put it all together, and then I can start on the next step. So there it is. There's my uh, platform build. I like this much better, and I'm already noticing I have about four inches more of vertical space because of this strategy that I use here in building this out, it feels super secure. I'm not even gonna bolt this down because I like having this modular if I wanna take this out. Plus, if I ever get a flat, I can actually take apart my bed, pull this out and actually get to the flat that's uh, you know underneath this thing, so the spare tire. As for the front there, what I've done is put a pillow. It's a super, super thick material and it's, it's too uncomfortable to sleep on. It came with this fancy bed that I bought 10 years ago. Next step is I'm going to take this ugly old, uh, it's the bottom of a bed I got from my parents and uh, it, this has kind of got those frillies that hang down at the bottom of the bed, but I just want to use the sheet part to cover all the wood just so it's not, you know, quite as sharp. I did buff the edges of this stuff. Okay, so I had the bed almost done up, but I realized I want to put a cooler right here underneath this. And so I should just make the bed with this half. I got this hinge, I can cut this, put the hinge here, then I can flip it up and get access to my cooler by having the seat folded down or from in bed. And you can see here, so I can have this seat actually functional too. If I want, I can reach in like this, but I find if this was able to flip up, it would be better. Now we're gonna get underneath here, wherever the wood is, and All right, so I made the mistake of trying to use a jig saw and cut straight. Obviously, I can't do that. <laughs> End up grabbing a skill saw and made a straight cut. So this piece is a little, well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just like that.
think my, uh oh my screws are too long. <laughs> they went into the board underneath. All right, so we found some. These are the screws I need. Into position, like that. And then now I put my cooler below there and I have access to, uh oh. <laughs> okay, so I have to notch out up here. Now for the actual cushions that go on my platform, you see these are couch cushions. They're really thick. I don't have to worry about them deflating. You can use an air mattress, but I just don't think that's as reliable. And this is gonna be way more comfortable. But what I have here is just, you can see they're ugly, hideous couch cushions. My neighbor gave these to me, which is super awesome. And I just got some fabric from the uh, fabric store. It was some runoff uh, end piece. And I just made sure it was wide enough and long enough. And yeah, I like the color. It's a nice fabric and it just makes it nicer than just this crude uh, cushion. And I'm just using safety pins to pin the pieces on here. This doesn't quite fit, but it'll be mostly, and this will be the bottom. I'll flip this over. So this is the end piece, it didn't quite fit. You can see it's, it's good enough. There's a few little openings here, but that makes three cushions. And now we can go put these in the car and see how it looks. Okay, so first off, to solve the rocking problem of this, my feet will be on this side, so it really won't rock much, but I don't want it to pop up and down every time I roll forward. So I need another cushion under here. I think this might work. This thing's pretty thick, but it's tucked in right now, so I don't want to make it too. I think I need a smaller pillow. All right, so I found something else that actually works better and has utility, it's tarp. And I can uh, be able to tie this off the top with my trekking poles to create a little outdoor seating area. And this should be strong enough and fit perfect in here. So it's like doing double duty, it's not just holding this thing up. Yeah, perfect, that's what I needed. And here's the final platform, nice and flat, tons of space. Now let's put the bed in. Okay, so I've got the cushions here. They're really thick. That and... Okay, so I happened to find a pillowcase that is just barely 19 and a half by about 30 and this thing is 19 and a half by 28. So it fit just perfectly and it's funny because this one is uh, came from my mom, which is why it's uh, this old, <laughs> sorry mom, hideous uh, 70s, 80s thing. And this came from my dad and my stepmom and same thing with the uh, the frillies, this hideous uh, floral frillies, <laughs> also probably from what the 80s or 90s. It's like I got a little bit of uh, all three of my parents in here to, to take with me on my road trip. <laughs> So I'll jump in here and show you exactly how this looks. I'll be putting my head on this way, feet out that way. Um, I like this because it's a lot more comfortable having this thick cushion, but it is less head space. I could use a mat on here, but I don't want to be sleeping on an air mat, especially if it pops, so, or an air mattress. Maiden voyage, let's see if it holds. <laughs> It'll hold. <laughs> I just need to check the, the distance, but I think I'm good. Oh yeah, so... There we go. Yeah, see, and I'm not touching this thing. I'm almost six feet tall. So, and even if I'm relaxed, if I point my toes, sure. I can push this forward more if I want to, but... drink or whatever, some food. Just climb out of bed like that and put your shoes on just by sitting here like this. Now I'm sure you're wondering what does it look like when you're actually in there and have the, the hatch closed because it looks nice and spacious when the hatch is open. So I'll show you from this angle. Hit you guys. See, it's nice and cozy in here. I actually have more space back here. Oh, so nice. I like it being snug down near my head. It makes it feel really cozy and protected. Uh. The only problem with this setup is you can see the cushion goes off the edge and that's fine because I don't want it pushing 
this armrest down. If I had it longer, it would be pushing the armrest down. I hate driving with armrest down. So then what see ends up happening is the cushion ends up kind of diving off the edge. So what I can do is hang something off the back of that, like some bungee or string or something, and then hook it on this so it can't pull any further down. So that's what I'll figure out uh, later. I'm going to get some other stuff set up first, but that's one of the kind of tinkering things I'll have to figure out. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, CRV platform build out of my vehicle here. On the next episode, I'll be going through the organization of this and how I'm going to fit everything in here, like backpacks, food, all that kind of stuff. And if you want to support me on Patreon, I have a Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash David Until next one, have a great day.